Say hi, bye. Say hello. Hey guys, um, my name's Kat Francis, and this is Violet. Say hello, Violet. Um, we're here to talk about mom stuff and hair stuff and breastfeeding stuff. And I've been encouraged for a long time to make videos about Violet's journey yeah, and my girl, journey girl. in motherhood and in being a black mom and being a single mom. Um, and I finally decided to take the plunge because it's been a year, a year and a month, and Violet finally <laughs> took her first steps. Yay! She's finally walking. Woo! Yes. She's finally doing toddler things and it's incredible to see her growth. Um, I also wanted to, great segue Vi. Mm. I also wanted to touch on the fact that it's been a year and my goal was to mm. breastfeed for a year and then stop. Um, and then now it's a year and a month and I know that the weaning process takes a long time so maybe I should have started to wean her maybe around nine months so it could be completely finished when she was one. But now I'm kind of like, okay, I'm ready to stop. So if anyone, if you guys know as this video is going, if you're watching, if you could talk to me and let me know and give me some tips, just personal tips. Not so because I tried to Google things, people say different things about weaning, but if you have your own personal experiences with weaning, what helped, what didn't help, um, something that you heard that just didn't work at all, if you guys could just leave anything in the comments below about weaning and like what the process was for you. I'm especially gearing this towards moms who wean later, so a year and later. Um, and then also moms who decided that they were gonna wean but then decided not to because I'm in this weird space about weaning now. I don't know. If I should just hold on till she's two, if I should just let herself wean, which I don't know, because everyone that I've I've met, and I'm a doula, so I encounter lots of like holistic oriented moms, a lot of like natural moms, but yeah. almost everyone that I I'm laughing, I'm laughing, almost everyone that I met that um that let their baby self-wean, they're usually self-weaning at four. And I personally just don't envision myself weaning uh, at four years old. Like, I just, I'd rather not have my, my child say mommy breasts outside and public. Like, I just, like, just for me, like, I just prefer that that wasn't, like, our dynamic. And there's nothing wrong with it, but just for me, I just don't see it for myself. So, yeah, I just want to know what the other experiences are. I want to know what people are thinking out there. I want to encourage all the moms to not be paranoid about when the babies will walk because the babies will walk. They will walk, right? Vi? They will walk. And it's been really nice. It's been nice to see her do it. She like was very anti-walking at first. At first, she was just like, I'm just going to crawl everywhere. I'm just going to crawl, and I'm not going to ever walk, and I'm not even going to want to stand. And she would only walk like two steps. You're so distracting, Vi, with your cuteness. You are. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go on the floor? Do you want to go on the floor? Is this okay? Yeah, she would only walk about two steps and she was on the bed and it was super cute. But I was just like, girl, when are you going to walk? Everybody's walking. What's wrong? You want to get the toys inside? Okay, mommy's going to get the toys for you. Yay! Play with your toys, okay? Um... Yeah, so I also wanted to, uh, what was I saying? I forgot. I forgot. Oh, the doggy and ball. Yeah, so it was a lot of, like, almost movement, but, like, a lot of her, like, just saying, okay, no, I'm not really interested in walking right now. Like, I'm not really interested in doing any of it. Um, and then she finally went ahead and did it. I also wanted to talk about my lock journey. So along with her being a year and one month, I am also a year and a couple months with my lock journey. So I'm mostly locked. Um, the ends still have not locked. Um, yeah, the ends have not locked at all. They're still pretty fuzzy. Um, it could be like 
just my regimen, which is fine. Like, like maybe I need to, I don't, I'm not super concerned about them locking perfectly immediately. I just want them to look like locks, which are basically starting to, people know that they're locks and they're, you know, whatever. Um, this is so cute. If you guys can see. Get it, mama. You are so cute. So I think we're get, gonna get her started on the drums. We'll see what that looks like. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, it's been a crazy time as far as my hair is concerned. I used to retwist a lot. I used to do that stuff and like maintain it when I first started. Now I'm kind of letting the whole roots thing grow in. Um, my hair goal. Hair goal is Lauren Hill's Circle 2000. Like that aesthetic, like that lion's mane. Um, I think that's a lot of people who lost. They look, look at Lauren Hill and they're like, yo, like that's what I want. So that's that's where I am with that. I'm also like contemplating locking Violet's hair. Um, I'm not sure if I want to wait for her to consent to it, I guess, because consent is super important in all aspects, right? What, 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 watch, watch, watch. Okay, come. Violet wants to be on the set. She's always wants to be on every set. She always wants to be on every set at all times and pull up my breasts, obviously. So yeah, I um, wanted to go back to this right here. See this whole like pulling my breasts out of my shirt. Violet, this is YouTube, but this is not X2. So that. And I know that um, I should probably have started potty training already. I'm like sort of starting. I started like a couple of days before she started walking. So hopefully that goes well. Hopefully this whole potty. Also potty training tips, ladies, like if you, or fellas, if you're potty training your children, um, please mm -hmm. let me know what's going on with potty training, how you guys started, how you guys started, decided to start. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated with little things with Violet because I know that um, friends are interested and even people I don't know like will comment and say, oh, she's so cute. Let's find out more about her. So definitely I will try my best to keep you guys updated and we'll keep pushing, keep going through the motions. Um, let me guys, let me, let me guys, let me know. Guys, guys, let me know. Let me know, guys. Guys, let me know. Let me know, guys. Let me know <laughs> what you guys um, want to hear about in regards to me or Violet. If it's about hair, if it's about lifestyle, if it's about being a single mom, because that's also really... that's also really tough um we can talk about those things too uh we're signing off say bye 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 say bye bye cutie okay